So Mark, uh, you're there obviously at the airport. Our Andrew Bartline has been, uh, he's close by outside of the parameter of the airport where a group of protesters have been gathering since what, Doug? How uh, early? Pretty early this morning, about 8.30 or so, 9 o'clock, and that, that crowd really has grown quite a bit. There's our Andrew Bartline right now, and you can see the crowd behind him. Andrew, set the scene for us there. How big of, the crowd, of a crowd would you say is there now? Yeah, this is pretty big, Doug. This is the biggest protest I've seen since I've been at 7 for the last three months or so. Now, there was a protest, there was a protest at St. Luke's outside Meridian that was put at 1,300. This is definitely bigger than that. It's hard to count because it's so long. Go down the road that way, there's the Denny's, but up this way, that's where you see the gate, the front gate of Nifsey. And it's long and it gets real dense up at the top. We'd show you that big cluster, but we can't manage on live TV with signs that some of them having profanity. We do have some video about what this protest has looked like, what some of those signs show. We'll go ahead and roll that for you now. It has been mostly peaceful. Everybody's getting along fine. There was one man who's wearing a mask that got heckled out of here. He had to be escorted with police. Now the Boise police, the Nampa police, and the Idaho State Police are all here. I did get that confirmed from a Boise police officer. So we know there are those three agencies managing it, but it really hasn't seemed necessary so far. As everybody seems just fine getting along. Of course, there are murmurs and talks. When is President Biden going to land here? I talked to some folk about why they're upset with President Biden. It ranges from his history of his policy policies in the Senate. It ranges from when he was vice president under President Obama. He didn't like that administration. Some people are very upset with Afghanistan. And of course, this recent mandate where a private business that has over 100 employees, they all have to be vaccinated. Uh, people don't agree with that either. So there's a wide range of why people are upset. And they're all coming out here together because they don't like the Biden administration. We'll throw it back to you on the desk. Hey, Andrew, I know that you talked with a, a, a veteran, I believe, who was a, a fighter pilot that you had, had a conversation with this morning. And he, he was mostly upset about the Afghanistan situation and the hectic withdrawal from there. And of course, the 13 service members who were killed just in the last days of the evacuation. Can you sum up a little bit of what his points were? Yeah, he was just upset with how it was executed. We really didn't get into detail about whether he thought we should have left Afghanistan or not. I don't have those details how it was executed, he was very upset with. He thought it could have been managed better. He thought it was unnecessary, the violence that happened. And of course, uh, there are people that died on both sides. We had soldiers that died, and of course, citizens of Afghanistan who died. I think he used the term that people were abandoned there. Uh, he's talking about our troops specifically. He feels that President Biden abandoned our troops in Afghanistan, and he was very upset about that. Andrew Bartline reporting live outside where couple thousand at least it looks like supporters or protesters I should say are outside the airport perimeter there protesting President Biden's visit and his policy.